Largest tornado ever recorded. The target area commute. El Reno, Oklahoma. Until May 31st, 2013 was a grim reminder of the potential destruction a volatile atmosphere can unleash. Just 11 days prior, a killer EF-5 tornado ended the lives of 23 people, injured almost 400 and destroyed over 12,000 homes as it ripped a mile-wide path through Moore, Oklahoma. No one would have imagined that this day would see a tornado <clears throat> more than twice that size. Here we are positioned on the dry line just west of El Reno, Oklahoma, awaiting initiation. Earlier this morning, the Storm Prediction Center issued a loaded gun warning for Oklahoma City and surrounding area. Whoa, man, that was a jump. <laughs> What's a loaded gun warning? Oh, it's all right. Mother Nature was showing her teeth, and unlike this female bull snake, it was not a compelling bluff. They are hot tempered. Oh, yeah. What? Bro, Here we go. this grumpy girl is just eager to get to her. I thought this shelter. was about tornadoes. She and her belly full of eggs can help the local farmers control the rodent populations. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> All right, we'll let, we're gonna let her go. At 4:37 p.m., three small cells sprung up on radar, and 12 minutes later achieved severe status. Here we are keeping an eye on all three bases that eventually join forces to become one organized storm. Jesus. Dude, you know what sucks? Ezra's only seven, and there's been two instances where lightning has struck our house. So he's like absolutely terrified of storms. Anytime there's a storm, like he like freaks out like not joking it starts raining he's just like wait is, is there gonna be a storm and he starts like panicking, freaking out. you should kill yourself now. yeah i yeah i like distant thunder too right but i don't like you know lightning striking my house dude that shit is scary it, it didn't help because uh it, it, I'm not going to lie. I scream like a bitch. So uh, <laughs> whenever it happened the first time at her old house, it struck and I was, and I just screamed, ah, like I just screamed like really loud, you know, cause it was just like, it just jump scared me. And it was just like an impulse. And I think that, I think that was like one of the, another reason why Ezra's like so scared of it is like, he saw his dad scream like a bitch at his, <laughs> so he's, so I was like, damn, we this shit's real. South a few miles to get a better view of the storm, but had to stop and help a panicked snapping turtle sitting in the road. Aww. The storm had hardly moved, but was intensifying fast. And by 538, the brilliant minds at the Storm Prediction Center issued a tornado warning. Now we are about to witness the birth of a record-breaking tornado that will eventually grow to over two and a half miles wide. Dude, seeing like this site is always so scary. Like when you're driving around, you just see like the green field and it's just black sky. That is not... I didn't yell the second time, by the way. I want to clarify that. I ain't a bitch. <clears throat> Looks pretty though. Yeah, until it turns into a tornado. <laughs> It's, I mean, tornadoes are still pretty, but like they're scary. That is an ugly, ugly tornado. Don't insult the tornado. It's beautiful, all right? It's sexy. The tornado's sexy. Is that better? Jesus. Bro, that doesn't even look real. That's crazy. The ugly tornado? Wow. Rude? Rude much? 
The tornado has feelings too. There it goes. Look at that. Jesus. Man. Alright, this is gonna God. get really ugly really fast here. You mean really sexy? Wow. Like that. What did the tornado do to you except destroy your home? Good point. God. There's wrap and rain. Here we're blasting east, trying to catch up to the monster, which is now making a hard left turn. I had to stop and help a panicked woman standing in the road. So good, I can borrow my house. It's over by the airport. My husband is there. I'm here babysitting my grandkids. Yep, I sure do. Uh, What's your phone number? It's 918. Uh, hold on, here we call it. Hang Dude, on. Poor lady. What did she even say? One second. Kids. Yep, I sure do. Uh, What's your phone number? It's 918. Uh, hold on, here we call it. Bleep, on. bleep. <laughs> You're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. 918. Poor lady. 918. This clip reveals man's best friend's internal struggle between loyalty and self preservation. Get into shelter. Do you have shelter here? Uh, we've got a, a base tag. Uh, <laughs> that, that song's like, uh, uh. You see that? You see that shit? I'm about to head out. All right? I'm about to head out, okay? A storm cellar with no door on the it. The worst is past. Get in it. Your phone isn't working? Oh my god. Your everything's fine. The house is right across the street from the airport. It's my house. It, it happened right next to you. It's You're fine. Okay. Well, their phone is ringing, so... Here, I gotta roll up the window because okay. the gear's getting... At this point, the tornado is at peak width. A 2.6 mile wide EF5. Jesus Christ! The widest tornado ever recorded. That whole thing is a goddamn tornado. perspective that appeared to be the end of the tornado's life. However, several other areas of strong rotation are now evident on radar, including a massive circulation complete with an eye entering Oklahoma City. Which is south of the Mustang area out there and runs over by the airport that is a just build a concrete now. Right now. Alright. <clears throat> this thing's heading right for You over. know what's funny? Like we have uh in my hometown, there's there was literally a place that sold tornado shelters. And what they were was a concrete, like five foot, five foot by five foot uh square. It was just concrete and had like a, a armored door. And you literally could just buy that shit and just like set it in your yard. <laughs> so like if there's ever a tornado, you just climb into that shit and you're good to go. <clears throat> like it's just funny because I when I was younger I was so confused because it was just like squares with doors on them and there were so many of them and my dad was like oh yeah that, those are tornado shelters people just plop them in their yard above the ground well I'm sure they like they like you know like dig it a little bit in the ground because it's like a full door like it's like an armored full door but I'm sure there's like you know Oklahoma City. Like, put it in the it's ground a good amount. 645, and I'm not going to follow it into Oklahoma City. Now, I'll build one underground. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, basements work just fine, uh, too. Uh, there's another rapid rotation right behind this one. So, Oklahoma City right now is under the gun. Did anyone else have tornado drills in school, but all they did was line us up in the hall and had us tuck into a ball? Yep. Tuck into a ball, put your hands over your head, and, like, lay on the ground next to your locker. Or next to the lockers and shit. Yeah. Twice, and it could get hammered. Twice, just south of the city, close by where 
where the last tornado went through more. All right, I've been in this line. It goes on forever. We're moving at... The floors were always dirty, too. Three yeah. and a half miles per hour. Escape. We had tornado drills, but we did it under the table. When I was at my old school, um, like when I was a little baby boy, like in first grade, we did it under the desks. But um, they went into the new school. They did it in the hallway. The tornado. The tornado is moving 35 miles per hour. And we are going three and a half miles per hour. I mean, I assume that's the end of the video. Yeah, that's the end of the video. That shit's crazy, bro. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.